hello everyone welcome back again on this uh, github action series so today in this video i'm going to talk about uh, how we can deploy our laravel application using github action so it's uh, as uh, uh, same as we are doing this in the previous videos right so the difference is how we can install the composer on the uh, by using these github actions on the server how we can execute our migrations how to create the database uh, how to run the test uh, npm installation and stuff like that right so today in this video i will uh, explain to you all of the things so maybe i will cover this into two or three videos so basically i'm shooting this uh, full github action series so if you are not familiar with this one what is github actions and how you can automate your code with the githubs right you need to just push your code on the github and then it will be automatically deployed on your server right so if you want to know how you can do this so just watch this github action series so i'm start, i started this uh, from very scratch to advanced right so here i also explain that how you can deploy your laravel application but i have not to uh, uh, talk about that how we can install the composer and stuff like that but in this video i will explain to you that how you can uh, i will i'm going to start it from uh, from zero right so here I have a fresh installation of Laravel, right? And uh, I have prepared the GitHub for it, right? This one is Laravel GitHub Action Series. So you can also download the source code from this GitHub repository. I will add the link in the description. And here I have prepared this uh, my server uh, subdomain, right? So I have uh, I'm opening this subdomain here, right? and uh, if you don't know how to configure the domains how to create the domain how to connect the ftp uh, ftp account with this uh, github you can check out my previous video where i explained it about this right and today in this video i'm going to first push uh, the code on this github repository and then i will uh, then i will uh, add this into the server so the very first thing is we need to configure the yaml file i'm talking about github actions right so we are pushing it uh, through the uh, through our github uh, through our uh, local repository local github repository so that's why i'm going to create this yaml file here you need to add the dot github slash workflows and in the workflows you need to create a yaml file so i created this same and then you need to get the code uh, from this github right so just click on this market place and here just search uh, ftp deploy okay set this out and go down and this one would be ftp deploy for automate deploy by snow dfl right so go here and simply copy this all of the code go back to the text editor and paste all of the stuff here so you need to change your ftp server name its username and password right in my case so i already uh, copied this information right so i don't want to waste time on this one right and if you don't don't know how to do this so you can check out my videos where i completely explain that uh, how you can get uh, your credentials but i'm i'm going to do this for your knowledge right so just go to your server and here copy your ftp server name okay add this here and then copy its username right and i will add this username here and then you need a password right so i will change this password later so don't give it a try okay so here paste here and then you need to specify your server directory where you want to push your code so just type uh, server directory and then you need to specify here your directory path where you want to upload your laravel application files right and be remember that you need to add this uh, uh, add this slash before starting the URL and then ending the URL. You need to also add this at the trailing. Okay, so here in my case, it would be the let me show you. So here it's inside the public HTML and then Laravel demo, right? So just type this same public HTML and then you need to type Laravel hyphen demo and then this uh, trailing slash, right? Laravel demo and yes, now it's perfect. Okay, I saved this out and now the time is to uh, deploy this on the GitHub, right? 
so i have opened this uh, out here so this one is my git bash if you don't know how to open this out so just go to this demo app this one is my application uh, where i save this uh, uh, yaml file and here you need to first initialize your github repository right so how to uh, initialize your github repository so just type git init it will initialize a local uh, repo in your uh, in your application or in your project file right okay and then you need to type git add dot it will add all of the files in the github uh, local github repository and then you need to uh, add a comment uh, for your uh, for your better branch and here let me type comment comments are basically the way to read out the code and here whenever we are pushing our code on the github so we can read that to uh, uh, what this uh, uh, project code is doing right and we can also uh, uh, we can also make sure about that uh, if the project is in the development process so we can define that this project is completed till uh, migration still uh, cedars and stuff like that right so here i'm going to uh, fresh laravel app into this one and then you need to here you need to add the remote origin right so just go here and uh, copy the remote origin so in my case just click on this code and copy this out right so this one is now copied so go back and here you need to type get to remote add origin and then you need to enter your origin here so paste this out yes i pasted this hit enter and yes now it's added okay so what's the next you need to push your code on the server uh, on the github not the server git uh, push origin and then you need to specify your origin so by default uh, this repository contain the main branch right so i'm going to oh i'm on the master branch right so you need to make sure that you have a uh, login with the proper branch right so let me uh, switch to the main branch right so how you can fix this so just type uh, git checkout and then mm, type your repository name if it does not exist it's going to throw an error so in our case it does not exist right so how to create this into your local repository right so i'm going to create a uh, create this uh, uh, repo in my local uh, in my local side right i'm not going to add this on the server so i'm adding this branch in my local repository so git uh, then you need to type branch and then you need to type which branch you want to create and hit enter and yes this main branch is created and now i want to switch uh, to this branch right how you can switch this so just type uh, git to check out and then type main hit enter oh my god switching to branch main and yes it successfully switched right so let me check the video size okay it's going a little bit bigger so here i'm going to push this code and later we will this out push origin and then we need to specify this same origin which we uh, hit this origin main hit enter here is uh, this one is also main and this one is also main right rejected because contains some work why it's saying because uh, uh, this uh, github contain this uh, readme file right which we don't have in our local repository so it means that it's now our files are not sync so if you want to sync your files you know you don't uh, want to get these files from the github so there is a force flag you can add this force flag and it will pull uh, it will push your codes uh, uh, without asking that you need to merge your code and yes it's pushed and if i go here and give it a refresh and boom our file is there and uh, if i go to this uh, action so it's in the progress right and it's deploying our code if i go here and open this out it's set up in set up job and it will uh, complete in few setups right it will not take too much time so i'm going to do this and yes it's completed great okay first it's set up this job then get the code sync the file and stuff like that so if i go here and give it a refresh okay okay loading file and nothing is there weird stuff why 
so let me figure out that uh, what's going on fresh pushed by diet Niazi. and if I go to this home directory root directory of this application no we don't have this those laravel demo and laravel demo did not have this one right so I'm going to rerun it again so let's click on this rerun your jobs maybe it's when we deployed it it's not to execute it as expected because we added our file right so here I'm going to now rerun it again right and hope I'm very sure that it's going to work okay set up job syncing files loading these files wait for a moment and yes it's done so just go here give it a refresh and nothing is there so let me check the my this path if I uh, made any typo in my path so it will not going to work public gml laravel demo so it's correct why it's not this out so our video size is going bigger so i will cover this in the next video so thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to check the next video and if you are new on this channel subscribe the channel and bye bye